When India has successfully tested the Agni-5 missile with multiple warheads and the massive feat was announced by Prime Minister Narendra Modi who called, in, uh, called it Mission Divyastra. The project was led by a woman scientist from the country's missile complex in Hyderabad, Sheena Rani, who has been working on the Agni missile system since 1999. Known as a powerhouse of energy, the 57-year-old scientist at the Advanced Systems Laboratory uh, of the Defence Research Development Organisation in Hyderabad, uh, a trained electronics and communication engineer with expertise in computer science, Sheena Rani studied at the College of Engineering, Tiruvananthapuram. She worked for eight years at India's foremost civilian rocketry lab, the Vikram Sarabhai Space Centre as well, and now she has produced something which is definitely going to be a big detriment for India's defence. Group Captain Vian Jha, defence expert, joins us on the broadcast as well. Group Captain Vian Jha, very good morning to you. Appreciate you taking out the time and speaking with us. How monumental you know, is this particular feat. One, from the fact that, uh, you know, uh, a woman scientist is behind this, which also goes on to indicate India's uh, inclusivity and uh, modernization, not only for the sake of uh, technology, but also for the sake of, uh, you know, social inclusion. And secondly, uh, this is also a big step in terms of uh, where India stands today in terms of its uh, deterrence. Very good morning, Vinit. And uh, thank you again, NewsX, for taking up the you know, subject of uh, uh, space science into your program. Uh, look, uh, of course, Nari Shakti has been playing equal role, if not more, in the recent uh, years that we have seen in various arena of technology. However, uh, as a scientist, we don't see these achievements as uh, women specific or something else. You know, in, uh, in uh, a big program like what uh, Agni 5 is, we have a chain of hierarchy. We have a program director, we have a project director, and we have project leaders. Now, program director is the one who is seeing the overall development in the larger perspective of happenings in India and around the world. Uh, project director is the one who knows almost everything. He is the master with the with the currency in the happenings in that particular technology. Project leaders are looking after the specific systems and subsystems, and that is how we devise a program. Now, if a woman has got the uh, you know experience anywhere in this, she will fit in as a uh, you know technological specialist, not as a woman. Uh, we, of course, you know, many people who are in the political arena see as a women specific, as a OBC, as a ST. No, we in technology, I have been in all these, uh, uh, you know, steps as a, as a project team member, as a, a project leader, as a project director. I have seen all this happening. But that merit is as per your knowledge, as per your currency, as per your understandings of the a particular technology and that is how it happens so uh, when you are talking of uh, the, the you know the uh, esteemed lady she is fantastic but when we uh, make these programs we are not making this program that okay this is women specific of course there is, there is a technology which is women specific uh, which has got the social uh, impact onto the uh, onto the country or anywhere there of course a woman has got the specific role to play but in these technologies, space technologies, missiles, and blah, blah, uh, uh, we don't see it women specific or any particular category. So I, I salute uh, the lady who has uh, taken the overall pictures of, you know, Agni program is not in, uh, Agni 5 is not in isolation. Yesterday also I spoke. Agni 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is how it has come. Agni Prime. You know, we have had a large uh, uh, discussion at your channel also some time back. So all these are the continuation, as and when any new technology uh, uh, develops and we incorporate these technology into the Agni program, that is how it is implemented into that, like so Agni Prime that we uh, discussed in your channel. As and when this MIRV came, as and when the development and uh, refinement of the uh, canisters technology into the propulsion system came, we, uh, we, we introduced those into the Agni Prime, and that Agni Prime has gone into the Agni 1, 2, 3, 4. So all these programs, when we when the technology develops, that technology 
unless it is women specific having the social impact we don't consider it as a women oriented or women specific technology development so uh, once again i, I salute the uh, young lady who has uh, taken the program to the success of agni 5 uh, uh, you know yesterday day before yesterday but then she is not as a woman she is as a technologist she is as a scientist she is as equal if not better than us or any other uh, you know person in the uh, that particular program so that is how we see of course uh, the agni 5 has got larger implications in the coming days coming years uh, uh, that we are going to see this is the first program which will have multiple target acquisitions and impact uh, other than the agni prime that we have had there also there is mirv so all these are going to have it has got the it has brought india into a very a specific category of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, war technology into the fore especially the nuclear one which has got uh, enormous impact should one mirv fail uh, th- think of the repercussions that is going to be there that you have uh, attacked a country uh, with a nuclear arsenal but that has failed so the repercussions the retaliations that you are going to draw it is immense so you can't take chances into those that okay let one mirv fail uh, and and that is it no it is not we try to drive uh, you know all sorts of brainstorming that it must not fail it must be fail safe so that is how we when we have the brainstorming during those uh, project uh, we incorporate everything including the critical failure analysis so that is how these programs are uh, categorized and especially the nuclear arsenals there uh, you don't leave anything to the chances so that is how specific is this program what she has done she has taken the uh, agni 5 beyond the agni 5 initial stages beyond agni 4 and that same technologies have been incorporated into this so it is not a women specific uh, and but i'll salute the scientist uh, the lady who happens to be a lady uh, with all respect that we have for any other scientist including uh, you know the previous scientist uh, that that have had that have led to the chandrayaan and mangalyaan and blah blah all those are on the equal terms so once again i salute the lady but then it is not lady it is not the women specific uh, 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 accolades that we are talking of it is the scientist specific accolade that we are giving to the isro for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon